I now call the Minister to move second reading. Home Secretary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I beg to move that the bill now be read a second time. Mr Speaker, the United Kingdom is united in opposition to Putin's horrific unjust war on Ukraine. The depth of this feeling... And this bill, Mr Speaker, is part of our effort, and I commend it to the House. Can I welcome the bill before us today, at a time when rocket attacks are continuing, when homes, community centres and even kindergartens are being hit. Families fleeing through streets in Ukraine are being targeted for attack. The Russian president has launched an illegal war against a democratic state. It is a crime against a brave nation. I will give way to the Home Secretary to clarify. I think, first of all, the Honourable Lady um, did not hear what I said earlier on. I actually said that I can confirm we are setting up another back en route to Calais. I made that quite clear in my remarks earlier on. I am very happy to, later on today, call her office directly and give her the facts on that. That would be very helpful, but I think we also need to know when this visa application centre is going to actually be set up, because at the moment her guidance says that elderly aunts and 19-year-old nieces are not included in the family visa scheme. First of all, um, I appreciate that this has now become a much wider debate, but first of all, we, we on Friday launched an extended family route, which covers the very family members that the Right Honourable Lady is referring to. No, 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 I think I need to come in just for a minute. Can, can I just say, at the end of this, I expect when the ministers wind up to pick up some of the points that haven't been answered, that's the idea of the minister coming in at the end as well. So hopefully that we can actually make sure that, given time for the government to think about the answers, that they can prepare some of the questions that have been laid. The problem here is this is now, we are now 10 days into the conflict and the government was also warned, the Home Office was warned, the Home Office was warned, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker, but we have been waiting for the Economic Crime Bill for many years. There are a huge amount of amendments on the order paper, a huge amount of people wanting to speak. This is not directly related. This is a very important issue, absolutely cr critical issue, but it does not relate to this legislation. Could we have a ruling from you, sir, on that point? The decisions, and I think it's all right. No, what I would say is, when the, when, in fairness, the Home Secretary took well over 30 minutes. In fact, I think it was nearly 40 minutes. Therefore, I'm giving some leeway. It's a very, very important matter. The fact is, it is also protected time. So one needn't worry. I bet. So one needn't worry. I bet. So one needn't worry. I bet.